<clears throat> What's up everybody good morning Fuck this day man Fuck this day First of all I uh I realized that Brickhouse Brown did not Pass away a week or two ago We talked about he was one of the guys That passed away I actually forgot that we had said it um, but he bounced back, believe it or not, but now he has passed away. So now Brickhouse Brown has officially passed away. Uh, it had been reported that he passed away by many uh, sources, but he, he bounced back, apparently. It was kind of a crazy story that I'm, we'll probably talk about at a later time. But also, uh, Nikolai Volkov has, has, pa- has passed away. Uh, Nikolai obviously was... Uh, you know, he was a little bit older at this point, you know, he, he was an older guy, you know, so, um, but what a legend, man, he helped, he helped really, uh, push people, you know, he just, what a, what a great character, and I mean, we'll talk about all these guys individually coming up, uh, you know, just kind of remembering them, you know, I, I remember Nick, uh, you know, Volkov, man, when I was a little kid, you know, you knew who he was, a brick house brown over here. So, um, you know, rest in peace to them. But the one that's, uh, of course, is a little bit more shocking, a little bit more, uh, at least tragic right now is, of course, uh, well, I mean, Brickhouse Brown is also a, a pretty tragic thing, especially the way he seemingly recovered and then, I guess, unrecovered. But uh, Jerry Lawler's son dying, uh, of course, uh, Brian Christopher too, from Too Sexy. Uh, Grandmaster Sexay, uh, Brian Lawler, um, has passed away as well. That's the one that's really messing with my mind a little bit. Now we heard that, uh, you know, we heard that he got arrested for DUI. He kind of led the cops on a chase or something that happened recently with that. So, you know, that wasn't good. And, uh, I guess this happened in the jail cell or whatever. He was in the jail cell, tried to hang himself in the jail cell. Uh, then the 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 guards or the cops or whatever grabbed him and rushed him. They got him rushed to the hospital. And he was uh, fighting in the hospital for a while. I didn't want to make a video even because the news was really wishy-washy about, you know, what was going on. So I, I couldn't even make a video. I didn't want to have another Brickhouse Brown incident. You know, so I, I really don't even 100% know Dave Meltzer's tweeting it. So I feel like if Dave Meltzer tweets it, you know, it's got to be okay to go now. Can't believe he would tweet something that he didn't know officially about. So there you go, man. It, it happens in threes this blood moon weekend. Just what a weird, what a weird, uh, just week. What a weird weekend. And just bizarre, man. And, and you know, the thing about him is, like, he had such a great promo, you know. When he came back, I want to say, um, I know that they, I think they came back for Raw 25, but when Brian Christopher came back to do the uh, deal with uh, Jerry Lawler, when Michael Cole was a heel announcer, man, he cut a great promo on him on Raw. And... I watched it again. I remember I remembered it and then I watched it again just now. And it was so good because he was just like he was like real, man. He was talking to Jerry Lawler about all this stuff. Like what a it was like a really cool moment with the father and son creating something together. It's too bad the crowd was kind of dead. I don't know where they were that night, but I just remember the crowd just being so quiet and so whatever. But like dude, but Brian Christopher cut an amazing promo. It was like he was just talking to his dad, you know what I mean? It's probably some of it was real, to be honest. And it was really good. And um, that was really enjoyable, man. That was one of the last things I really remember about him. And uh, it's one of those things where you see that and you're like, man, I wish that guy, you know, was either in the company now or was doing something because he just has a really good ability, obviously, to speak. Obviously, when he was a little bit younger, he kind of went with the more of the comedy uh, route. But, uh, you know, that, I don't know, man. It happens in threes. I guess they say I, this is all one big chunk of bad today. So, 
I really have nothing else to add. I'm just kind of wait, you know, just sort of like, geez, like I, this isn't, I didn't want to, I was think, trying to think of what to make today for a video, but this isn't what I, uh, we wanted to do. Um, that's all I'll say, you know, hope there's a good, hope there's a good place we go to and hope he's in a better place. But, um, that's about it, man. That's, that's, that's all for that. We'll talk about everything else we're going to talk about later on, uh, later on today. But, uh, that's the, uh, that's the info I have right now. And, uh, we will see you, uh, later.